So here we have a process and what we want to do is we want to add the build material information to this. So to do that we switch from the home tab to the BOM build material tab here. And instantly all the colours will change on here to grey. That indicates that no materials are currently associated with any of the activities in this particular process. So what we want to do is we want to first add a build of material. So if we already have a build of material we can do is select a build of material but let's say we want to do a new one here. So we click on the new and it's going to ask us where we put it now. Put it anywhere you want. Uh, we actually give you one in here if you want to use it under Applied Computer Services. It's called the, um, the parts area. And in here we're just going to create our demo. And we click on the save and that's now available. An outline has been created and you can see that if I come across to any one of these Let's say I want to prepare the mold mixture, I double click on it. So here we have a blank uh, bill of material and um, it's all relating to the prepared mold, mold mixture right here. So we're going to add some materials here, so we'll call it uh, mold powder. And we'll say it's in 3 ounce bags. Right, and the part number, anything at all. And the quantity, let's imagine there's uh, 12 of them available. And the unit measures each, right? And the unit cost would be 19 cents. Right, click on it here, and then we can add additional ones. So let's say there's going to be a screw used somewhere, and that's going to be a certain part number. We'll say SC, uh, right? The quantity. Let's say there was 20 of them available for use in the package, and that would be each again. And the unit cost of that was 0 0.005 half a cent, right? Click on the OK and inserts that here. So you can add, manually add all of your bill of materials here. You can edit them and delete them. You can also import which will be covered in a separate video. Now if you're ready to use one of these in this prepare mold mixture, let's say we click on this. We've got 12 available. We're going to use 4 and then we click on the OK. It puts it up here for you and then you're going to click on the close and it will update the, uh, the prepare mold mixture right here. So now you can see if I hover over here it shows that I've used four of the mold powder bags in the three ounce bags right there in the pop-up. So now if I go to replenish raw material and I select the mold powder again, you can see I've only got eight available. Four of them were used in the previous one. There's only eight available for me here. That means if I try to use nine, for instance, I don't have enough available to do that. Right? So I can put any value up until the value of eight here can be accepted at this particular point. So that's how you can create a new bill of material, start populating it manually uh, to put the data in. Uh, obviously a lot of the data you have is going to come from uh, other sources and we're going to show you now how to bring them in from external sources.